Hello everybody, welcome back to the range. Tom here, and today it's that Four Horsemen build, the Painted Pink October. The reason why we're doing a Painted Pink is because the Three Blind Mice are no longer available. They asked uh, Paul and the Four Horsemen to take over their Painted Pink thing. So, they decided to change the casting to anything you want it to be. And paint it pink instead of doing the Iroxy Camaro. But that's okay. I had a plan for this. I really did. You know, I had this M2 55 Chevy Bel Air just sitting around, had the wheels off of it. I really didn't know what I was planning on doing it doing with it just yet. I, I knew I wanted it to be something cool and pay job, classic, whatever. And I took the opportunity to do the paint it pink because it just it was just since we could choose any casting, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And just so y'all know, happy Halloween. Yes, it is October 31st. Happy Halloween. That's all I gotta say to everybody. Uh used to be one of my favorite times of the year, and you know, that my daughter was born on this day on this day. You know, turning five, she, she, I miss her to pieces. You know, I love you, baby girl. Hope to see you soon. But, uh, you know, I, I love the month of October. Not only that, with the being breast, uh, cancer awareness month with the painted pink, I've also had a very close family member pass away due to breast cancer. So this kind of has a little bit of sentimental value, I should say, in this build. So I wanted to go with one of my favorite castings and doing it painted pink, I couldn't resist. Of course, I threw a little bit of Caliber 50 Customs twist onto it and you'll find that out here shortly. You know, first things I wanted to do was make sure it, I was going to make it a convertible. That was the one thing I wanted to know, I wanted to do for sure, for certain, was make it a convertible. And, you know, just... Cutting it, it, I was actually surprised of how well, you know, uh, I had the straight line. It cut. It was perfect. Even with when I put the windscreen in it, everything was right where it needed to be. So I was extremely happy about that. And, you know, cutting the back off, I just filed that down with my rotary tool you here see here in a few minutes. But this thing had a lot of parts I had to, that were plastic that I had to literally get rid of or just kind of just pick and pry and stuff like that just trying to make sure I got every single piece of plastic before it went into the the stripper and you know all in all you know I really like this casting it was like I said it was one of my favorites it was sitting around and I wasn't really doing anything with it and it just when when this opportunity came out I was like you know what I'll go ahead and do that you know I know the person that died of breast cancer, uh, her husband used to have a 55 Chevy. And I know he probably would have thought this was the bomb. He thought he would have thought, you know, it was a good idea to use this car. And like I said, I was going to make convertible. Didn't really have to do a lot of the, the file sanding, you know, that I'm doing with my rotary tool. Didn't really have to do a lot of that, which was a good thing. Um, the first color I painted it. I don't know what was going on, but it just, it was looking more of a red than a pink. So I decided to completely change that up. And I'm glad I went with the color I did because I thought it, it just looks, it looks amazing. And being the 55 Chevy, it's going to be painted pink. It's a convertible. It's going to be a classic. You're, you're just kind of, you're, you know. You just start picturing it in your head, just saying, man, you know, this, what's he going to do pink? What's he going to do, you know, custom to it and all that kind of stuff? Well, trust me, you guys are going to enjoy this build. That's for sure. You know, anybody that's dealt with M2s know there's so many dang parts, you know, that you got to peel off. It didn't have an engine in it, so that's okay. You know, right now I'm just kind of test fitting some certain wheels just to see how it, it's going to look on it. See if it's going to, you know, roll the whole nine yards. 
Uh, and, and, you know, I'm actually really happy about this one. And, you know, seeing last month's video, uh, the Big Air Bel Air, I, I don't know if you guys really remember, you know, the I didn't have no video footage of it because, I, I don't know, it just kind of, it was corrupted. That's what it was. The video was actually corrupted. There was video footage of it. It was just corrupted. And it didn't show the end. So the following video, I, I showed you guys what the big Air Bel Air looked like. And I, I'm really happy that, you know, I made a guest horseman. And the one that chose me, I believe, was Andrew from Maple Leaf Customs. He, he kind of sent me a message asking me if I wanted October or something. I can't remember the other month. But I was like, you know what? I want October. I'm cool with October. You know, it has a lot of kind of different things going for me in that month. So being this guest four horsemen or this month's guest four horsemen, I was really honored. I was really, you know... I was ecstatic about it because I was like, you know what? You know, uh, these guys think I'm good enough to be on here, you know, good enough to be a guest on here. That man, that just that's good enough for me, you know. And right now, you're kind of probably wondering what I'm doing with this casting. Yeah, and I know you guys know how I am. I kind of get sidetracked quite often when I'm on a video, and you know. There wasn't actually very many custom things. Um, I knew I was wanting to get rid of the back seat. And, you know, I'm glad I did. Uh, got rid of the back seat. Kind of filled that in with some styrene. You, you know, kind of, you guys will get to see here in a little bit what I decided to go with. This. Other than cutting out the back seat and, you know, just making it a convertible. Honestly, in, in my head right now, I'm already picturing what it's going to look like. And, you know, it was just kind of, I was hoping the paint was going to turn out. You know, I had to strip it three times before the paint finally came out to how I wanted it. So, yeah. And pink paint don't work well with me. I really don't have a good relationship with pink paint. But that's okay. It still came out nice. I was really happy with the way it turned out. Um, I'm kind of pretty much filling in, you know, the little hole with styrene, just kind of where it doesn't have that open back in. You know, it kind of has a, a solid portion to the back. But what I ended up doing, you know, is after I did that, yeah, I kind of dressed up the back area a little bit because I didn't want to kind of look like it had somebody's bathtub behind the back seats or something, you know. So I added some little extras into it. And a little bit of extras can go a long way in a very small build like this, especially. Because, um, you know, I'm, I got all these castings in front of me and I'm just kind of thinking what I want to do. Um, I got a, who is it, Eric uh, from King Nut Diecast, I think it is. He's going to be holding a downhill pink slips race. Um, so I'm going to be entering a vehicle into that and I'm going to be building something to go along with it. So I'm going to be making a two part build for it. I'm going to try to get it done. Uh, probably, hopefully in the next day or two so I can mail it out. Um, it, it's kind of in video process right now. So you know, I want to get that out so I can have the money to mail it out at the beginning of November. Because, you know, I want to get make sure it gets to him. Because, you know, it's it's going to have two vehicles with it. Kind of like what I did with Jay's uh, Diecast Creations, his uh, pink slips. I made a hauler to go with the vehicle that I raced. And, you know, I, I'm going to also probably throw in an extra customer to or probably and I'm going to be throwing in some decal or some channel stickers. You know, as like a secondary giveaway, you know, when he, you know, King Nut's going to get one of them so he can keep whichever one he likes and then just use the other one as a donation to a winner or to a, you know, the second place winner or something. But we'll figure that out later. You know, I know it's taking me a while. I'm kind of staying on this part, you know, trying to fill it in, trying to make it look like it's all together one piece, you know, kind of had to 
add some styrene here and there, you know, to help support everything I was doing to the back. I had some uh, br uh, brown stock brass tubing that, you know, I ended up bending and, you know, doing all that kind of stuff because I was going to put a roll cage on it. I decided I wanted to put a roll cage on it because you don't really see many roll cages on convertibles. So I thought about, you know, just throwing it on this thing. And, you know, just kind of getting that look, getting, you know, just kind of seeing how it's going to look. And I got to tell you, I really liked how it turned out with the roll cage in there. You know, the roll cage really, it, it looked amazing in the back of a convertible along with the little NOS bottles you'll see me put in here in a few minutes. Uh, after I put the NOS bottles in there, painted the interior, detailed it up. I even changed out the steering wheel. You won't be able to see that in the final results. Uh, Uh, video footage. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm kind of losing track right now trying to figure out where I'm at with this <laughs> But uh, yeah, I just wanted to you know kind of tie it all in together It's got some big kind of drag style wheels on the back some small ones on the front um, It's gonna have a I'm not gonna be using the hood of this car So it's gonna have an engine that's gonna stick above the hood So I'm gonna be detailing all that in there. You guys will see what kind of engine I'm going within this thing here soon um, all in all, I really like how the engine came out as well. You know, it kind of, it, it looks amazing on this car. I was really, you know, kind of trying to step it up with the, the looks and, you know, the dip more detail I do and to the build. And like I said, I really liked how the roll cage kind of fit right where it needed to be. And, you know, it was kind of right at the right level. You know, I kind of put the little angle bars on it. So it kind of looked like it was going through the back dash. And, you know, I wanted to make sure I got this done, you know, because I had to go back and strip it a couple more times. You know, it was just kind of like I did not know exactly what all I was going to be doing to it but I, I wanted to make sure everything kind of flowed into place it didn't look like it was too big over going over top of where the roof would be or something you know i kind of got this engine from one of my little hot wheels cars i can't remember and i had this say uh air filter the uh, 3d printed air filter i can't remember where i got it but i was like man that's pretty cool so i ended up attaching it to the top of this engine detailing it up you know, and I really, I really liked how it turned out. It, it actually looked really cool sticking out of the front of this car. So I was like, you know what? That's going to be cool. And what I am probably might end up doing is I might put it up for a donation or, you know, give it to some breast cancer awareness cars or something. I don't know, but I may just keep it because I, I liked how it turned out. And like I said, I don't use pink very often. Actually, hardly ever. So yeah, I just don't like the color pink. But for this being the Breast Cancer Awareness Month, I wanted to, you know, go along with the theme and suck it up and, you know, do something pink. But honestly, with it looking pink and, you know, the colors I chose for it and how, the, how it's detailed, honestly, I, it, it's an amazing looking vehicle. And I can't wait for you guys to actually see the final results, which will be here very shortly. Because... You know, it, it just, it really would stand out in the crowd. I'll tell you that right now. If it was an actual life-size vehicle, I think it would stand out in a crowd amazingly. And right now you see me cutting up where the NOS is, uh, tanks, and I got these from Benchworks Toys. Um, you guys have heard me talk about that uh, guy for a while now. You know, I get a lot of 3D printed parts from this person. And I'm always trying to see what he's got coming up next on his website. But uh, the car I'm going to be making uh, for the downhill race, let's just say uh, it's going to, like I said, it's going to have a hauler with it, but it's going to be a custom hauler. It's not going to be just something, well, kind of like the Wasteland hauler like I did a while back for JDCs. But... Uh, I'm going to try something a little bit different this time around just to see how it works. And I know I'm going to be doing a lot of cutting. That's for sure. 
Um, there's going to be a lot of cutting involved and, you know, just trying to make sure everything is looking how it's supposed to look and looking as neat as it's going to be. And I got a lot of ideas of how I'm going to do it. The hauler, especially, um, kind of was watching a video earlier on YouTube. Uh, can't remember, but, uh, it, it just gave me some ideas for a hauler, you know, uh, some ideas that I've never done before that I would like to try. And whoever gets this hauler is going to be getting a little, it's going to have a case for the hauler and the car. So I'm going to get like a little ca uh, glass case for it. It's going to have it sitting in there. So it's kind of combined, you know, hauler case or hauler car, you know. So, so it, it, whoever wins my car, if they win my car, will get the hauler as well and hopefully they put it uh, you know kind of as a set because that's kind of what it's going to go for and you know you see here i did a little pretty much a black white seats you know detailing up the nos tanks i ended up detailing up the uh roll cage later on off camera but you know i wanted to make sure like i, I put a base coat down as, uh, for white and honestly, it really helped with the pink that I did pick because it, it helped make it pop. And, you know, I did the same base coat with the, the fluorescent pink I was going to go with, but it was it looked way too much like more red than pink. So I just completely had to strip it down and redo it. You know, um, I did it. I got me a real fine uh, chrome pen. That I could do like the little chrome details on the sides and stuff of this car, you know, just to give it that extra push on it. And, you know, that really helped out a lot with the final look of this car. Um, you know, the, the easy, well, it's not really easy. It's more kind of complex, you know, kind of angles and, you know, cutting the tape, making sure I covered up all the white. And, you know, I. <laughs> Uh, it, it took me a minute like a lot of it I didn't video footage or I didn't video because you know I kind of messed up somewhere and or I just you know kind of put more tape somewhere else and I just forgot to film it or something I can't remember what the deal was but I, I know you guys are going to be really happy with the results because I know I am and you know you don't see a lot like honestly this is the only time you see it's the white tape you don't see what color I painted me doing the details or anything like that. So why don't we check out what we started off with. This M2 1955 Chevy Bel Air. You know, I, was, I really like the Chevy Bel Airs. I can't wait to do another one, which will probably be as soon as I find another casting of a 55. But, you know, it had a lot of itty bitty parts. Kind of had to go over it with a fine tooth comb just to get certain spots but without further ado let's check out the final results <laughs> 